Hello, welcome back to Ask Allison. So today we're going to talk about uncontrollable factors in the environment. This question is fairly specific, but I feel like these things happen to us sometimes. So I want to speak to this and hopefully it is relatable for some of you going through something similar. Um, I'd like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring us first. So this question says, over the last few weeks, there's been intensely loud and disruptive construction going on outside my office. The noise is impacting my sessions drastically. I've, been, I've inquired with the city how long they'll be working in that area, and they said it will be at least another six months. I don't have the option of moving my office. I can't change my hours to the evening when the construction crew isn't there. What do I do? So first, I want to validate that this really sucks. It really sucks. So there are a few options to consider. Some might work better for you than others. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is noise reduction inside your office to try to absorb some of the sound. As the sound comes in to our hard surfaced walls and windows and things like that, it bounces around and makes the sound louder than it would be if you had a bunch of pillows and upholstered things and blankets and maybe some foam behind canvases. Um, some more softness to help absorb some of the sound so the, the reverberation is not quite as intense. I'm imagining like jackhammers and things like that. It sounds awful. Um, a noise machine near the window or wall where most of the sound is coming from can help take the edge off of the sound. Um, and if those things don't work and you know, there are different phases of a construction project and I think like a jackhammer is a lot more problematic than like an actual like hammering. Um, I mean, hammering can get annoying, don't get me wrong, but it's probably a less intrusive. So I, I might ask for a timeline. I don't know if they can even tell you that, but a timeline of what that's gonna look like might help. Um, another option is online therapy from your house, like talking with your clients about the impact this is having on sessions and the fact that you don't wanna you don't want it to impact their session, so here's another option. It would suck to pay rent at a space you're not using. It would really suck. But if you're not able to get the good work done in your sessions because of the noise, then it makes sense to, to do it online if you use a modality that can work online or with clients who can do it online. Now, um, I'm also wondering if the good work is still being done in sessions, if it might be... Um, you stirring your own pot, so to speak. Like, I have a really big issue with things that are I perceive as inconsiderate. Um, one of our old houses, there was a neighbor who was, I mean, they were, he was a kid, he was like 20, and he was playing drums on the porch at like one in the morning. And I just could fly into a rage about it internally, when really it was just like I needed to set some boundaries, which I did um, in my robe, but set some boundaries and like, <laughs> move as soon as possible, but really like kind of breathe through it and, and teach people how to treat me. You can't teach the city how to treat you around their construction project, but um, I know when I get that twinge of like, this is so inconsiderate, I can't believe someone would do this. Like it's really, it's still me, it's me. It might be inconsiderate, but it's me working myself up. So if you're still doing good work, um, I would check to see if you are working yourself up because it sucks. I mean, like nobody wants to hear that outside their window or door or wall all day long. Um, but if it's not impacting the clinical care, then maybe you can find some way through to acceptance. Um, to put it out there, I don't know you, so I don't know if this is a fit for you, but I'm putting it out there just in case. Um, if you have a question, please shoot me an email over at ask at abundancepracticebuilding.com. I'd love to answer it on Ask Allison. And all of those like noise things also works for loud neighbors. Um, loud waiting rooms, those kinds of things. If you can absorb more sound in your office, then you're doing better. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later.